Okay, so this is part three of the Holy Wars guitar lesson. So we're going to start with that riff. Okay, so this one's a lot of fun. So what he does, he's just going to hit that open E string. And then he's going to hammer on, he's going to hit the fourth, fret, uh, the fourth string open, hammer on to the second fret. And then he's going to hit the second fret on the fifth string, so like this. Okay? So you're just hammering on and then picking the second fret of the fifth string. And then you're going to pick the fourth fret, uh, fourth fret on the fourth string. And then you're gonna you're gonna pick. So it's gonna go fourth fret on the fourth string, and then back to the second fret on the fifth string. And then you're gonna kind of slide it up, and and then pick the third fret and the fifth string. You're not gonna you're not gonna strum the chord. You're just gonna you're gonna pick the the individual um, strings, but like one right after the other. So it's kind of and then you're gonna kind of shake it. You know. So that, you know, you can hear that in the song that it sounds a little like the notes sound individual, but when they're ringing together, obviously you hear the power chord. Okay, so that's a third fret, fifth, third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string, power chord, and you're gonna go three, five. That's how you're gonna end that riff. Okay, so what he's doing there, you're going to do the same riff, except you're not going to go up to that, to that, you know, all happy chord there. You're going to go, you know, play that beginning of that riff again. And then you're going to do those dirty chords, at third and second fret there of the fifth, sixth and fifth strings. So you're going to go. So here's the pattern. I won't do the uh, high strings in between. It's going to go. What he's actually doing there, three, uh, I'll, just, I'll just talk from the sixth string, so it's the sixth string, you're going to go three, two, two, one, uh, one open, and then on the fifth fret, this pointer finger is going to go two, one, so it's going to go two, one, one, open, while holding down the first fret of that, you know, sixth string. And then you're going to hit the E, land on the E power chord, so. Okay. And then in between, obviously, you're going to do, you're going to pick those high uh, uh, first and second strings. So. Shit. So here we go. But you got to keep it clean, because he's, he's. So he's 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 not holding those chords on that on that you know at the bottom of your, at the top of your neck there. Okay, so he's playing and stopping the notes there, and then he's in between. So I advise you to pick pick the 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 high E string up like this. And then the B string, the second string there, you pick down. So, because you're jumping from that low, those low strings to the, you know, those high strings, it can be tricky. Okay, you can hear, I, I really don't think I should have to explain what he's doing there. He's just, you know, he's just, uh, you know, palm muting instead of leaving all the open chords there. So the, the wrist's going to go like this. I'll just play it for you. Okay, hold on.
okay? Then he's going to come into the, uh, so there's going to be those little solos in between. So you're going to start on this chord. So you're going to hit that, you know, that three and two dirty chord, I keep calling it, on the third fret there and the second fret of the sixth and fifth strings. And then you're going to just pick it up, or I should say six, sixth string to the fifth string. And then you're going to hit that open four string. And then to the open third string, and then when you get, uh, so he's kind of like making a G chord, like a, you know, a, a nice G chord. You're going to get to that third fret on the second string, and you're going to use your ring finger there, uh, and then you're going to, you're going to just pick it, pick the third fret and the second string, and then open on the second string. And then you're going to hit. You're going to do like a power chord here on the first fret on the fifth string. Okay, then you're going to pick the individual string. Wait, hold on. So you're going to hit that power chord, and then you're going to kind of go to the second string. Second string to the third string, holding the power chord, and then just kind of pick it down. You know, kind of go down the strings. And then he's gonna go, and that's how the riff kind of loops. He's gonna go open E, first fret, second fret, and then back to that chord. So it's here's how it goes. So after, I didn't mention this, but after he does that, you know, you're gonna do the. You're gonna still keep picking down the strings. You gotta just kind of listen to it over again. I'll try and play it slowly so maybe you can pick up on it. But you're just holding this chord and then you're holding that chord and you're picking the individual strings. Okay, and then it's going to come out and you're going to do that. Okay, that little thing in between, he's just holding the harmonics over the fifth fret on the top three strings. Just pick it right down real hard. Just the first three strings. Okay. Okay, now he's gonna go into, uh, he's gonna do it again. Again, same pattern. And then it's gonna end on that. Now what he's doing there, he's holding his finger over the third fret on the E string. And uh, you're gonna get that, that kind of, you know, real dirty harmonic there. Okay, so you got to, you know, obviously listen closely to that pattern. So he's going to kind of start down picking it. So that's, so I'm going to play it real slowly, but it starts with down picks. Okay. So you kind of hear the, um, the pattern he's doing there. And then he's, you know, he obviously starts uh, uh, doing up, down, up, down. So... I'll just do it in open E so you can hear it better. Like that. Okay, again, that's kind of that riff that we showed you, that I showed you before. Now this is the rhythm under the solo. Every other time he's doing the power chord and then he's gonna do these dirty chords. Okay, so that's, you gotta kinda memorize that. I, I don't play the solo, so all I know is that it's kinda, it kinda gets long and it really gives your wrist a workout. But I recommend uh, plucking each chord. 
but he might actually do a slide. Like, so you know, I just think it sounds better when when you when you hit each chord instead of sliding them. So he's gonna do that harmonic thing four times. So now, you know, once the solo starts, he's just doing the open E string. He's not doing the harmonic anymore. Okay, that's going to go on for a while until he's done with the solo. Then it's going to come back into kind of a version of that opening riff. Okay, so what he's going to do, he's not going to be... He's not going to be doing that normal uh, tremolo pattern that he was doing on the on the open E string. He's just going to be down picking that. So if you're not you know <clears throat> good with down picking, this part's going to suck. So you're going to come out of that and just go. Okay. So he's going to do that. And he's going to land on that seventh fret there on the uh, that seventh fret power chord on the E string. So it's you know hammer on it's hammer on to the seventh fret and then a pull off from the tenth fret to the to the seventh fret there. Like that. So it's hammer on five seven pull off ten seven and then hammer on five seven hammer on five seven Okay, so you know now he's doing that. He's singing that part. Next thing you know, they'll take my thoughts away. Part. Now there's one part where you start hearing that. Okay, I just play through it. I just keep doing it. And then there's one part where they, with both guitars, kind of merge, and they both do the end of that kind of that those high parts where they both go. So it's going to be. Okay, that's how, so it's going to be that, I showed this in part one, but it's going to be six, six, nine on the fifth string, and then eight, eight fret on the third string, and then uh, five, eight on the fifth string, and then that's that seventh fret on the third string. Okay, but now he's going to come back out and he's still going to be down picking. Okay, so the last, like, the last, I guess, two times he plays that riff, he starts doing the, uh, you know, the fast tremolo picking with no real picking pattern other than... And then he's going to break into that last riff at the end. So you're just going to start, you know, he just get, goes kind of bullshit at the end there. So, um, you know, I'll just play it to the end here from that, you know... Okay, so what he's doing, he's doing that same pick picking pattern. Then he's going right into those dirty chords. Then back to the power chord. Okay, so he's gonna instead of you know doing it twice, he's just gonna he's just gonna go power chord, dirty chord, back to power chords, and then he's gonna end on that five, six, seven, and then that that you know that last power chord. So it's.
So that's a second fret power chord. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Good luck with it. I'm tired.